Well, the hurricane is coming, and if you live in Florida, you know what it's like to deal with hurricane issues. It becomes quickly an emergency. And some of you don't live in Florida, but you're dealing with hurricane force winds coming against your life. You're dealing with emergencies, unforeseen circumstances that happen suddenly. Listen, I wanna share these moments. I wanna teach you throughout my journey. I'm going down to secure some property against the winds, against the storms. And uh, along the way, I'm gonna share with you about the storms in life and how to stay strong in the midst of a storm. Let's go, we gotta hurry. The hurricane is coming. Is approaching and when a storm comes in your life you have to understand that what you do in this moment will define your next season see sometimes storms are really tests and God tests us not to punish us God tests us to prove our worth to show us what is in us to help us to see where we need to grow so that we can advance God is always looking to increase us right we decrease that he can increase but then as we decrease so that he can increase he increases us he promotes us and so when you're going through a storm or when you feel a storm approaching you have to set your mind and know that this is a defining moment in your life. I don't want to just be good on the mountaintop. I want to be strong in the valley. I don't just want to be victorious with my hands held up praising God when I'm on top of the world. I want to be praising God and singing praises to Him in the midst of the storm. But you have to set your mind ahead of time that you will stand strong in the midst of the storm. It's all this right up here. It's all this, the mindset. It's the mindset. Guy that's really coming down on there. One thing I forgot to say, in every storm in life, you need a coffee break. The impacts will expand miles, hundreds of miles, in this case, well over hundreds of miles because of the fact we have those outer bands that push in first. That's where we have the potential for tornadic activity develop. Then you've got those gusty winds that are just the entire time pushing water up on shore. On top of the fact, heavy rainfall and in some areas it will be prolonged. What I'm really praying is when we get there, it won't be raining when we have to board all this up. Well, the prayer was answered. It's not raining, but the water's really high. Listen, when you're going through a storm, when you're going through a storm, I know it's foggy. When you're going through a storm, you gotta keep your mouth right. You gotta keep your mouth right. You have to be careful not to agree with the plan of the enemy. Because if you agree with his plan, he has open access in your life. If you agree with his plan that the storm will take you out, that the floodwaters will come crashing in and destroy your, your soul, your family, your career, your life, whatever it is. If you get in agreement with his words, he has the legal right. So we break and bind all agreement with the enemy's words that we spoke out of our mouth. Forgive us, Lord, for coming into agreement with the, with the hater of our soul. And we cancel those words. We break those word curses we released over our lives in Jesus. Jesus name look at this when storms come you have to develop endurance there are some storms that are short and some storms that are long and you have to learn how to endure long and strong unfortunately the best way to cultivate endurance is by enduring. I mean, yes, 
we can be prayed up. Yes, we can prepare for the storms in life by being strong in the word, by standing on the promises, by learning how to wait on the Lord. Yes, we can prepare ourselves for the storm, but the only way to endure the storm is to endure. We have to have uh, uh, the grace of endurance. We can't even stand on our own. Without the Lord, we can do nothing. So no matter what it looks like, no matter what it sounds like, you can endure it. God will not let more come upon you than you can bear. I know you hate to hear that because it sounds so trite. It sounds so glib, but that is the reality. Now here's the trick to that statement, that scripture, that truth, that reality. God will not let you more come on you than you can bear. But when you try to bear it alone, you will feel like it's unbearable. The idea is that we're supposed to lean into Christ in the storm. We're not supposed to bear it alone. We're not supposed to carry the load alone. We're not supposed to walk alone. We are supposed to lean into Him. Lean not on our own understanding. We're supposed to ask for grace to endure, grace to obey, grace to stand and withstand in the evil day. And when we've done all we can do in the storm, then we stand. These winds are coming, it stopped raining just for a moment. That means we are in the eye of the storm. We are in the, the calm before the storm. Here's another lesson, here's another lesson. If you are in the midst of the storm and everything seems okay, for a moment, realize that there might be another band coming. There might be another wind coming. There might be some more rain coming. So don't stop praying, don't stop pressing, don't stop warring, don't stop believing, don't stop because the enemy will strike again if you are unaware. Sometimes the storm looks like it's over and it's not. Sometimes the storm doesn't look like it's over and it is. We have to get God's perspective in the storm. That is how we stand. That is how we endure. That is how we fight our battles. God is laughing at your enemies. You need to have the joy of the Lord. That is your strength. Stand strong. You can do this. Well, it's all foggy. Foggy.